Hi, it's Mr. Herman. We're back with another video today on simplifying complex fractions. I have two examples here, and one is a little bit easier. The second one is a little bit harder. Remember, you can always see these videos on my YouTube channel or go to uh, Mr. Herman's math page and Google that on. Just Google it. You can get it that way. So let's go to the uh, next first problem. The first problem is has a mixture of things happening here. You've got to add this here first. Notice order of operations tells us that we divide first, but we can't divide till we add. It's kind of like there's almost like there's parentheses around these things, kind of like that. So we have to add these two first, then add these two, then divide those, and then add this one over here. So it's going to be kind of a lot of steps. So we'll add the first two together, the one half plus one third. That's going to be five six. Uh, shortcut when adding these, if I don't, I don't know if I ever told you this before, but if you're adding one half plus one third. You could just multiply the two numbers on the bottom. This works whenever there's a numerator of one. Multiply the numbers on the bottom and then add them to get the top. So that's a nice shortcut. So this will give us five, six divided by the bottom now. Five times four is 20 and five plus four is nine. Now we gotta, before we do this, we have to divide those. So now we're gonna take them over here and divide them by flipping the second fraction around. So 5, 6 now times the reciprocal of 9 twentieths, which is 20 ninths. We can cancel out here. Let's see. How about to divide these both by 2? That would give us 3 and 10. And that multiplying across now gives me 50 over 27. I could take the time to make that a mixed number, but it's not necessary. I could, though. Because now I'm just going to add this part in over to here. So let's add that in now. That's 4 27ths. That gives me 54 over 27. And 27 goes into 54 two times. So that whole problem just equals 2. Let's try this one now. This one looks harder than it really is. We're looking for the longer line here to decide what to divide by. It's kind of hard to tell, but in this case, the longer line is actually this one here, which means we have to kind of do this division first of these two, then this division second of these two, and then divide the results of those. So I'm going to bring this one up and say that 3 fourths is really multiplied by 8 ninths, flipping that around because division tells us to multiply by the reciprocal. Again, long division sign here. Then over here, I can multiply by the reciprocal. This one, 5 fourths. So in this first one, I can cancel out by dividing by a 3. Remember, any time you want, you can pause this if it's too fast. So that gives me 2 thirds. And my big fraction bar from right here, back keeping them separate from the top and the bottom. Uh, nothing can be canceled over here, so we're just going to go ahead and multiply across and get 40 over 28. Oh, yeah, we could cancel, actually. I forgot to. We could cancel the 8 and the 4. I apologize. So let's fix that real quick. Let's go ahead and fix that. Might as well fix the mistakes we make as we go. So we've got uh, 8 is 2 and 4 is 1. That gives us 10 sevenths. I didn't see that canceling. Now we could take and multiply by the reciprocal of 10 sevenths, which is 7 tenths. Here again, I can cancel out. I can get a 1 and a 5. And when I multiply across, I get 7 fifteenths. So 7 fifteenths is our final answer. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Uh, anytime you have a request or an idea or something you want to know how to do, go ahead and send me that request. Um, if it's a problem on a certain type of problem, just go ahead and send me an image of that problem or a video asking me to solve that kind of problem. And I'll do my best to get that solved and a video posted as soon as possible. I've done this about a few times and it's a lot of fun. So go ahead and uh, send that to me when you get a chance. Thank you so much.